Welcome back, people. Just from 34 here, back with another episode of Dust of the End. Alright, so I built up some points in my guild of tokens. I've now got 360. 360 with the option for more, depending on if I can finish that before the end of the month here. That goes to 30, and then it rolls over to the next month, which is when, when that other thing happens. I've also been upgrading all of my motorcycles from these little modified trike things to the actual motorbikes so I can drive faster. Even if I'm losing, I'm sacrificing some of my space, I'm actually maintaining, I'm lowering my fuel requirement down by a little anything with me aside from food and water and fuel, but I will be going there a lot faster. It's not completely a loss. It's not a complete loss. I mean, you know, it's, it's not like I'm going to be able to make any money off of it, but I mean, heck. I guess that's kind of the point. of the pure water, a hundred rabbit, and a hundred fuel. And leaves just a tiny bit of room to spare. There it is. We rolled over to the next one. I don't know what the jobs are this month, but I'm going to go ahead and fight anybody I can. So I can Die, little hyenas. I've also got a bunker in this area as well. I've moved almost all of my material to, that was in this storage over to the bunker, which is all the way over here, Bunker Charlie. It's actually in a really good spot too, because that's actually the access road to the next area right there. 
So it's actually in a very good area. It's like literally right in, right in the, right in the access road to the next area. So I can actually stack, if I stack up some food and fuel here, well, actually, if I just get a, get a, a thing, so I, I get like four restaurants in there, two clinics, four factories for copper, enough power to maintain all of that, as well as, you know, the restaurants that will maintain the supply necessary to feed all of those people, because it's going to be a lot of damn people. Ugh. Luckily, I know where I can buy undergrounders, like fresh undergrounder meat. making all my money back. Fight the rats. Actually doing very good. We got plenty of money to last me a long time. I won't want to have to worry about running out of money for a while. And that's kind of the point. After a while, once you get, once you start getting cars, even if they're just maybe the trucks, those things use a lot of gas. That's kind of why in the later towns, like later on down the, like in the other regions. 
regions, they're going to have a lot more gas for sale because people are using, like, cars and stuff to travel. You're still going to see, all the traders are still going to be on foot, even though technically they're not. If they're walking on foot, then I'm going to call all those guys silly. And then you got those car, those truck dudes that come out of fucking nowhere and they're like, and they they basically drive right into you and they, and they and like attack you. It's like you can't run away from them. Oh no, no! Once you see that truck coming out of nowhere, you might as well like just sit there and wait, wait for them to hit you and just fight them away because I mean it's not like you're gonna go to outrun those dudes. They're in a pickup truck and you're probably you probably won't be either. The, even then. Their pickup truck is faster. Trust me, I know this. Their pickup trucks are faster. Even though they look like they're the exact same pickup truck, it still does not matter. Their pickup trucks are still faster. guy yes I am here you go enjoy that fertilizer stuff go grow some plants with it and now we're gonna go back down to Gobi Town drop this cotton off buy more fabric and then haul our heavy little butt home this is all the way back up excuse me Mr. Bug Beast I don't want to fight you right now saved up for the next area.
You killed both of yourselves. No, how dare you? They killed themselves, boys. Oh, wait, they killed each other. Oh, uh, well, wait. No, no. I guess technically they didn't kill each other. They canceled each other out. Because they were both fighting each other and they both disappeared. So technically, they technically canceled each other out. And it's like all hell for to lead on both of them. I'm like, bro. That's a mood. <laughs> that is a mood right there. $400,000. Look at that. Woo! Fat paychecks. <clears throat> fat paychecks. It's the fat paycheck, boy. Paycheck power. Money. Salt. Salt for turf. Okay. Uh, we're off to dirt now. Setting off for turf. Elite bandits, look out! Our escape was successful. Well, that one is glitching out right there. I see that one. I don't, I don't think he can figure out which way he wants to go. But that's why he's just sitting there, fidgeting back and forth. He doesn't know which way he wants to go. So he just sits there and thinks about it by going back and forth really fast. Looks like we have an option to buy another motorcycle. Check our guild quest. Bandits and supply box. Alright. Water. Fuel's still good. I'll buy these potatoes. Alright, alrighty. Okay. Rocks the Gobi Zone now. Try find the, the bandits. Bandits! Okay, no, bandits. Die, bandits. Feel my power. Trumpet of victory. Good thing to have. No, you never. No, no. I want them undergrounders. I would prefer to have the undergrounders whenever I actually get to where I'm building, paint making things. I would rather have the undergrounders because they're easier to deal with. Now, we need a trader. We need somebody that's very high in trade power. Repair? No. The precious monthly? Are you kidding me? Yeah. You wiener! How dare you? I don't want that. Don't worry, we'll, we'll stack up. Nice travel. Bars now, and I'm also making water. Okay. 
apparently. Nice. Supply is not high enough. We need more. I don't have any of the uh, things. We're going back down to Govey Town now so we can continue our trip. Resources. Power is mine. The power of trading is mine. I am a face in this. I know I am. <laughs> Cement and normal cement as well. We'll buy both. Stack up on both. And we'll uh, continue on our trip. Wait, 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 wait. I know, I will have to sell it. That's the whole point of me doing this, is so I can uh, eventually. Uh, change all these bikes around to the, the standard dirt bikes and save some space. Save some space power. Yes. Literally just under enough. Look at that. I know, I know. And I'm going to have to go for another two months for the paper. Yes, another two months, at least. But luckily, the time passes by so damn fast that any the damn well money. A few more trips around, and I should be good. The 22nd century, year three. Year three of the 22nd century. Month one, day 17. Military time. Because obviously we all operate on military time in this game. 
There is no such thing as normal time anymore. No, nobody runs on the old time scale anymore. The old time clocks don't exist anymore, so we all have to run on the uh, normal uh, military time. But I would rather operate on military time anyway. Black. Look at that. Reed actually likes somebody now. I didn't think I'd ever find the day that I'd actually find somebody that Mr. Reed likes. He's not actually fighting anybody anymore, so that's good. I had to switch out a few of my people for other people, but that's okay. I still have technically the same stats, if not tied a little bit better. But we are good. We have, we now have a decent crew where they're not constantly fighting each other. Now, they read used to at one point he did fight somebody. Or they were arguing about something. I don't know. I'm not surely sure. I don't really know what they were arguing about, honestly. I really don't. Day 20 of month one. Wait, 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 wait. I don't have enough food for that trip. Uh, I forgot to buy fucking tubes. We're gonna sell 63 back and we're gonna buy 63 potatoes. I always, I, I don't, can't believe I forgot to buy the potato stash there. Damn it, leave me alone, you stupid ignorant things. After this, actually have even more towns across like a larger area, so they have more guild area and more guilds themselves. Like the next area has like three guilds in it, plus yours. So you have to muscle three. I think I think it has three different guilds in the next town. I so I'm pretty sure you have to muscle out three different guilds on every single town. I think it might just be the two guilds plus the uh, unchecked uh, uh, un the unchecked uh, market stuff. All right, let's buy the let's buy our, our water supply and stuff first. Uh, let's buy the hard pack first because the hard pack is actually worth more. At least I'm actually producing something in the bunker now, so I think technically I'm actually producing something. I've expanded one section of it, so now I just have to buy more uh, room materials. There are a lot of room materials, I'm going to have to buy at least another two weeks worth of room materials. Maybe more, depending if I'm going to really make it work. Day 
how the guards keep stopping me or keep thinking it. Honestly, I'm surprised I can't just literally just give them some of my weird rum and like, here, take some of this as a bargain, okay? I don't understand what the hell is the difference. Like, why why do I have to have a completely cold crew just to be mean? Apparently being cold means you have to be an asshole. And I have a very friendly, nice crew, which is usually what merchants are supposed to be. They're supposed to be open and friendly. You're not so, if you're a bandit, I don't think you're gonna be able to actually turn into a merchant. Unless you go in like full freaking Bruce Banner on everybody and like, go literally really far away into a damn cave and go into complete solitude like for a, a month and reform yourself from bandit to merchant get new clothes and everything somehow i don't know how you're supposed to do the new clothes thing when you're a bandit because most times when you're a bandit you have really shitty clothes and i mean unless you act like a homeless man wandering into town I don't think anybody's going to uh, let you down, especially if they know your face. Especially if you killed some of the people, you know. Probably not. Uh, hi highly doubtable. Salt from Dome Village to Turk. going to wait for the whole next month to pass we're literally just going to fucking wait 
Yeah, I feel like this would be easier. Because as soon as I get the new, the new, all my motor, my vehicles changed over to the new motorcycle, I'm gonna do the quest line for to head into the new area. Day 15, we're on our way, well and truly on our way. Day 17, 18. Nineteen. That time is passing by super fast, which is good. That means you know, we won't have to wait a, a whole long time, and then we don't actually waste that much resources while we're just sitting here. It's when we're moving that everything really screws on. It looks like the guard change just happened. They just released two guards, and a caravan is now walking extremely slowly. Why the hell are you walking so slow, bro? Are you are you not in a hurry? You must not be in a hurry. I would definitely not want to be in that caravan. That dude's caravan? Ah, uh, uh-uh. No. I would not want to be in that dude's caravan, especially with how slow that guy is going. Hell no. I'd rather be in my caravan where I'm like going like eventually gonna end up going eight kilometers an hour. It's in kilometers because you actually can't change it because it was made in a... I'm a I don't know what studio it was made uh, by. Uh, I'm guessing a, com, a studio where they use kilometers per hour instead of miles per hour like we in the United States do. So I'm assuming it was made in, you know, in by another studio uh, that's not in the United States. At least I don't think we use kilometers anywhere in the United States. I don't think we do, but we might. I don't think so, though. Let's go. Did it? Good. Yes! It's time! Boys! It's time, boys! Finally, we are ready. We've got our last motorcycle here. Ready and ready. Will it Ready, willing, and able. stack up our resources I'm gonna buy like uh, I don't know, uh, 30 of that this that and we're gonna see how fast we can go around eight and a half kilometers an hour look at that how so fast obviously I'm about to do it I just have to get around to Gobi Town so I'm, I'm trading my way around to Gobi Town and that's what I'm doing Thank you. 
Good. It's always nice to see somebody doing the smart thing. According to what I've heard, there's a very active slave smuggling organization that de in the desert zone called the Black Death. I'm pretty sure that was the name of a damn her a, a really bad sickness way many years ago called the Black Death. I'm pretty sure that was a really... Are they named after the really bad sickness that was actually in real life that uh, covered the world and killed lots of damn people? Rumor has it, they're the beak masks you're looking for. And those are the same doctors that were trying to heal the damn shit. Bro, what the fuck? This is, this is really damn screwed up now. They've twisted the freaking doctors and Black Death into something even worse than what it actually was. That's a slave operation now. Run by the doctors that were actually supposed to be healing the damn Black Death. If you're up for it, I can make another copy of the Desert Zone map now. There's, that's the bulk of your reward. I mean, knowledge is worth its weight in coin. Eh. But to sweeten the pot, I'll throw in some supplies. I guess it's time we made the trip to uh, Kiligasso. Kiligasso, or something like that. The towns in the dust zone have already been marked on your map. Yeah, let's let's uh, square this out. Okay, let's get going. Let's take off, man. We got a lot of to go. say it's a wretched hive, but they're pretty, they are, pretty much all are. It looks more prosperous than the dunes, though. Thanks, a little bumpy, but not a bad ride. If there's nothing else, I'll take my leave before someone recognizes me. Who would recognize you with your mask on all day? Perhaps I'll wander around for a bit. I suppose we might meet again, eh? Let's go see the town mayor and get an update. Let's check the guild. Girl, F bomb. <laughs> Ten credits. Mm -hmm. Seize the damn credits. Ah, wait a minute. No. Uh, what do we got here? Let's see. Ooh, old rusty car. Oh, crap! That's a really expensive damn thing. Eight and a half kilometers an hour for a car? It's worth it!
that's what I'm talking about. Now we're gonna have to have like 500 fuel, bare minimum, just to get by. We're gonna need a lot of damn fuel. It looks like they've experienced much in life, but their eyes conceal the sadness within. What do you need? Well, spit it out! We're tracking a slave ring, all of whom wear beak masks. Do you know anything? Rudely interrupting. I suggest you don't meddle in Black Death's business. Black Death, hmm? That does evoke the feeling of beak mass somehow. Anything else? Try New Moon City. But watch out for their dirt. The Dirty three tree gang. They're aggressive and vile, and love to attack caravans like yours in particular. Thanks. Seems like an uh, like seems there are opportunistic vermin everywhere. There aren't just any vermin. They got power behind them. They're tangled up in the hole. Never mind. We should go. <laughs> seems like uh, well, well, well. If it isn't my buddies, my pals, my amigos, what's wrong? Why the wrong faces? Just another run around. We've got no choice but to try our luck in New Moon City. But a coincidence, I'm heading to New Moon City too. That's gratitude for helping me before. Let me show you a trade route. Don't forget, I'm a merchant. Follow me, and for riches will follow. Well, eh, sure. Inferior soap, and as much as possible. Don't worry, I've already bought all the soap I could. We're we set. chasing us so yeah all right we're at Newman City the final stop of the journey there is a surplus of rich folks here who are obsessed with gold especially gold bars thanks for your guidance along the way we're headed to Newman City Hall at the moment of course all good things must come to an end I'm staying in Newman City for a while come see me at the tavern if you need me look at that Well, we're going to buy Constantly buy new vehicles so you can actually go faster, way faster. The over above all speed is the best thing you can possibly do in this scenario. Buy the biggest toys, and you will be good. Alright, well, that 
That's a lot of damn money thrown down the drain. So, we've gotten rid of all the other stuff, we're good, okay. Start out with 300, and we're going to ditch all this ammo here. And we're going to go here, and we're going to stack on all the all the new ammo on the characters. Hopefully, I can eventually run across something that's a little bit better for the mechanical crossbow dude. He's good with any ranged weapon, so I know I can actually give up the crossbow if I really wanted to and put like a heavy machine gun on him. But that would mean I'd have to run all the way back to the previous area just to stack up. survive that dude. Nah, the people at the back all need literally just one thing, and that's the constitution, so I can get permanent upgrades in the boosting department. Thank <laughs> you. 
is fashion. The fashion is in the faster everything happens. Mainly enemies. Anything that can hurt you. If you get like a fast credits. Okay, so we're gonna buy soap. Auto fight. Die, creature.
Well, we're gonna be seizing all the blank shares across all these areas. I know I need to, so that's what I'm going to work on. I'm gonna get up all the areas. Moon City, we need woven fabric and cloth to upgrade to where we can get uh, worsted fabric. Uh, well, you got Tucker Village has two, two, Third Village has two that you can build or two upgrades and lanes. Well, since we're in the desert area, we're going to work with the desert forces. I know I need to check my time here. I just need to be upgrading their damage and their constitutions. Thank you. 
Iron ore is worth a lot of camel market. It's not worth it. It's not even that heavy. I get enough of that. I can literally just come here and then go between camel market and the other place. This stuff right here ain't worth anything, so it's not even worth trying to carry it. That's an armored bullet, no wonder. It probably has a little bit higher damage ratio. check my time real quick. Looks like I got another episode I gotta cut in two halves. Oh well. If you like this episode, please do leave a like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you again in episode 6 of our Dust of the End playthrough. Goodbye.